So today I'm patching up the um, holes in the floor, the bolt holes. Um, check out the bibs wife got me for as an early Christmas present. It's really nice keeping me warm now because it's freezing over here in Virginia right now. Um, so anyway, holes. So a previous owner, because we bought the bus already demoed and the previous owner patched the holes with uh, some tape but I uh, didn't like that uh, I wanted to be something more permanent so I decided to use Bondo glass and they have two versions one is the smaller finer hairs uh, of fiberglass and one with bigger ones I got the one with smaller ones finer and I uh, also had to get the Bondo fiberglass cloth because if I try to use uh, the Bondo glass without the cloth it kind of like sags and falls through the bolt hole. So Bondo um, um, fiberglass cloth definitely works. I already tried it out. Uh, get yourself some knee pads and some gloves. And this is the Bondo glass that I'm using. Short strand, not a long strand. And then there's a fiberglass cloth is this one just bought it like Home Depot Bondo glass I think I got it like AutoZone or something like that uh, Northern Tool or one of those I don't know if they had it at Home Depot this is the fi uh, fiberglass cloth so I just cut out pieces get, get some scissors and over here what I do first is I take a little bit of Bondo glass by the way, I have a space heater blowing at the bone of the glass to keep it warm because it's so cold, it gets thicker and I can't mix it and spread it well. So I keep the space heater blowing at it to keep it warm. It has its own separate hardener that you mix in that makes it hard. But even without the hardener, the, just the cold itself is making it, um, making it a little thicker. So I first take a little bit of uh, the stick, I take a little bit of bone of glass and I dab a little bit on the um, on the holes just enough so you can kind of so the fiberglass cloth can stick to it it's easier then to spread on top of it the uh, bond of glass with the hardener so I just come over here and you know I cut out a strip I don't need it to be big Kind of just enough to cover the hole, and I do multiple at a time. So I just come over here and I put it like this. And this is important to cover these holes to prevent the moisture coming in from the bottom and this is kind of the base of the build you know you can't can't go and fix this when you build everything on top of it later on so that's why I'm doing bondo glass it's like a permanent fix instead of just doing the tape that could over time get moisture from underneath and slowly peel through and get get the water in okay one thing I want to add when you put the fiberglass cloth press it in like this so it has a little hole right so the uh, bond of glass can go inside so something like that and then um, I already spread some of the the bond of um, glass on on here you don't want to put a lot because it will start hardening before you used it all up. I have this kind of scraper thing, you can use putty knife, whatever, I got that at Home Depot. Um, and then I have the hardener that comes with the Bondo glass. And I take a little bit, a little bit goes a long way. Okay, that might be too much. 
that I kind of mix it in, press it in, scrape it, press it. And you want to use you want to use this type of some kind of plastic or or glass to put the uh, bondo glass on to mix. You don't want to use cardboard or anything like that. That's gonna soak it in. It needs to be something hard like this. It's not gonna soak the uh, bondo glass. So you want to make it a consistent color. The more harder you put, of course, the faster it will harden. So you don't need a lot. And you can see the tube is a lot smaller than the uh, than the bond of glass in the can. So you only need a little bit. Okay, something like that. You know, I'm not an expert. I'm just figuring this out like everybody. So I just put a little bit on. And I just spread it like this. Zoom. Then I grab on the edge a little bit more. Next one. Okay, another one here. Okay, next. Doesn't take much. fiberglass cloth kind of has little strands coming off okay that's it so what I do now is I go in and I scrape as much as I want uh, as much as I can from this want to keep it smooth and then I get a little rag and uh, you wipe off all of this because it will harden and mess this up so you want to clean it after each one, each application, before you mix in the next one. Okay. Alright, that's done now. Um, here example of some I've done yesterday. You know, you can sand it down if you want a little bit, 